So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this lab and many of you are facing issue but now the lab issue has been resolved and here is the updated solution guide for it. First thing you have to just click on start lab and if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel guys. Also join our telegram channel for important updates and all the things which are available before the video is released. So just click on start lab and if you are seeing this provisioning lab resources just wait for some time and then the lab will be started. So let's move ahead. Once the lab is started, it will look like this. You have to just open the console in cognito window and there it will get signed in automatically. Let me show you how you have to just open the console. It's very easy. You have to just drag your mouse cursor on the open cloud console. Right click over here and just open in incognito window. Let me show you. Now from here, first thing we have to enable the permissions. That is basically adding the storage admin role. How we have to do? You have to just click on this navigation menu. Come to task number one. And here from here you can see. We have to just add storage admin role. Sorry. Storage admin role. Click on IAM. And here you can see compute at the rate of developer dot g service account to just select it if you are unable to find it and use ctrl f paste and find now click on this pencil icon now click on add another role select a role and select storage admin from here ok just select it and just select this one and save it now this will take at least some time for updation of the storage role take few minutes for the policy to get updated now from here on the search box you have to type data proc okay just type data proc and click on the cluster just click on the cluster option or you can just click on the data proc also and on the left side the cluster will be mentioned over there like this okay you can see now click on create cluster and if you are getting option like which cluster to create you have to create cluster on compute engine okay just select cluster on compute engine if it are asking multiple things over here then for the cluster name you have to just enter the name now here sometimes what happens the screen basically freezes okay in that case what you need to do you need to just reload the browser so if you are unable to paste over here just reload the browser and try again okay just reload it it will work just refresh the browser and wait for few more seconds and then we will try again because many of you may face this kind of issue then you have to just wait for it here carefully you have to just enter the name okay carefully enter the name over here and most important thing is regarding the region and zone always select the region and zone from the lab instruction in my case it's us east one it might be us central one in your case so always select from the lab instruction okay this values gets updated each time the lab starts so just select it carefully here you can see multiple zones and regions are available over here so here you have to just select as per the lab instruction once you are done with this part, then you have to just click on configure notes option. Okay, click on configure notes option present on the left side. You can see over there, just click on it. Now here, you won't be able to find E2 standard. Basically, here, the machine type we have to select is E2. It's not available over here. Do not worry. From here, just update the disk size to standard persistent disk. Now you are able to find the E2 option over here and here the machine type is also updated each time the lab starts or maybe it remains same so you have to just select as per the lab instruction so just select the e2 if it asks n2 select n2 like this you have to follow the video now just select the e2 you can see machine type also multiples are here so you have to select e2 standard 4 as per my lab configuration if it is so different you have to select like that only now here also you have to update the primary disk to standard and then change to e2 option okay just change it to e2 option here you can see it showing e2 standard 2 so just select e2 standard 2 from here like this if it asks for e2 standard 4 you have to select like this make sure to cross verify the manager role and this one now here we have to update the primary disk of worker node remember worker node not manager node we have to update it worker node so come over here here you can see it's showing 200 so from here you have to just update it
down over here and you can see the primary disk size okay so just update it to 100 and then all things are clear over here now we have to just uncheck the configure all instance okay here i repeat they have mentioned worker node if they mention the main node manager node then you have to do it now click on customize cluster uncheck this one and come at the bottom and just click on create you can see we have to just create it okay now what error many of you are facing that it was showing provisioning for a long time you must be remembering if you have completed this lab before and was event wasn't able to complete it this was showing now here this issue has been resolved now you have to wait for some time and then the status will be running after that we have to just submit the job you can see here this status will be updated so just stay tuned and wait for some more time and just do like the video and subscribe the channel if you want to complete skill badges you can check the description box of this video and just complete it now let's meet after some time here you can see the cluster has been successfully created now it's time to submit the job so click on the job option and then you have to just click on the submit option now from here okay first of all check the score for task number one you'll get the score without any issue now task number two is very easy you have to just copy the region and just select the region here region plays a very important role so make sure to select correct region as per your lab instruction okay multiple regions are here you have to select only one which is mentioned over here okay 
now cluster we have created this now change the job to spark and here update the main class file jar files and arguments so update it one by one now update the jar files after that you have to just update the argument in argument you have mentioned we have to type thousand if they update the value you can refer to this argument section now you have to just click on submit okay once you click on submit the job will be submitted but to get the score it should show succeeded status you can see here if you try to check the score you won't get the score because for getting the score it should look like this succeeded status so you need to wait for some more time it will take some more time and it will be done so i repeat if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel for other arcade games skill badges lafri courses you can check the playlist also i have attached the master sheet in the description you can check it out so let's wait So finally here you can see the job status is succeeded. Now what we have to do, we have to come to the lab instruction and check the score for the task. And that's how we completed the lab guys. I hope you enjoyed the step by step guide and you are able to complete the lab without any issue. If you face any issue, you can let me know in the comment section guys. Do like the video and subscribe the channel and let's move ahead to the lab instruction and let's see the score. Just hit the check my progress. You can see we have got the score without any issue. And that's the way we have completed the lab guys.